There. You'll be warm soon. Oh, I feel very silly, Princess. Oh, hello, Princess. Ned, you've got a visitor. He's going to sit and talk to you. Won't be long. I am? Oh, um, I mean, um, I, I am. Most, most definitely. And um, how is our fair maid doing? Uh, a bit better. <laughs> good, uh, good. Um, I like the colour of your nose. It's very, um, red. General, would you mind getting me a drink of water? Of course. Won't be jiffy. <laughs> no, Puss. You can't make Maid feel better. Have I got everything? Oh, a glass of water. Oh, lovely creamy cake. Just right for Maid. My <laughs> Here you are, Maid. Oh, at last. Oh, thank you, General. Oops. Sorry. Oh. I brought you Gilbert, Dolly, and some lovely cake. And I'm going to tell you a special story. Oh, goody. I love stories and cake. Not for you, General. It's just for Maid, because she's poorly. Oh, right. Oh, well. Um, better be off. <laughs> Once upon a time, oh, <laughs> there was a princess. I mean, a nurse. <laughs> who had to make her sit maid. Oh, princess. Oh, I feel a little hot. First her maid was cold, then she was... Hot, princess. Yes, that's right. Then she was hot. Then she was cold again. No, Princess, I mean I'm hot now. Hot, hot, hot! Ah! Hey, what's wrong, right? General to the rescue! Oh, oh, me, you look like a big hot slug. Let's help you out. You look a bit hot. Like a cocoon. Oh, oh. oh thank goodness. What on earth happened? Oh, well, I was too hot. I mean, I was too cold. I was too cold, too hot, too cold again, then too hot again. Goodness me. Pop it. Oh. <sighs> you sound very sad. Is everything OK? No. I'm not a very good nurse. You tried your best. I wanted to make Maid feel better, but now she feels worse. Princess! <laughs> Princess, I'm cured. But, but... Ah. Up you get. Aren't you cross with me? Uh, don't be silly. You're the best little nurse ever. I am. <laughs> Ooh, yes, you are. <laughs> I feel much better and... <laughs> This much fun <laughs> Now I feel better. Who are you gonna look after? <laughs> well, there's there's Puss. <laughs> but he's already been a patient. <laughs> so I think it's Scruff's turn. <laughs> Not my face! Scruff! Hello, Chef. Oh, Princess. Have you seen the general? Oh, general? I, I don't know. Scruff? No, no, not in there. I, oh. Aha! Eek. You brought the rules, general, and then you ran away. Um, it was Nessie, officer. She made me do it. Then I'll have to take Nessie away. Oh, what? You're not allowed to break the rules, General. Come along, Scruff. Nessie! And you'll have to stay there until you've learned your lesson. I'll just check on the others. Come on, Scruff. Nessie? Nessie, are you in there? Oh, yes! 
Oh, oh, Nessie. Oh, shh. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Are we being naughty? Hmm? Yes. Hachu! Oh, God, now use a tissue. <laughs> oh, my tummy feels funny. Here's your tummy medicine, dear. What are you all doing in here? It's tea time, Poppet. But I'm afraid your mother's had one too many sweets. No more sweeties for Mummy. Ha 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 ha! Achoo! Oh dear. And Gardner's caught a cold because he didn't wrap up warm. Oh. You were right about rules, Princess. Everybody has to follow them. Oh, oh dear, yes. yes. Absolutely right. right. Rules are very important. Yes. yes. Right. But you're all sorry and you won't break the rules again, will you? No. So, I think we should all have a big piece of chocolate cake. <laughs> oh, yes. Splendid. Good idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Not sure. Wait. Where's General? Wow, look at us, Nessie. We're free! Oh. Oh. oh! Um, does anyone have a plaster? Don't worry, General. I'm a nurse as well. Nino, Nino! Nino! <laughs> oh. oh, this one's bigger. No, it's not. It's not that big, but keep trying. There aren't any really big potatoes. <laughs> There's some funny looking ones, though. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh. I'll never be famous. <laughs> so, no big potatoes then? No. Here he is! Hello! He's here! The man of the moment! <laughs> oh well, I suppose I'll never be famous like Great Uncle Walter. Welcome, <laughs> Uncle Walter. <laughs> Many <laughs> congratulations. Forward! <laughs> For you, Great Uncle Walter, from our garden. Thank you. Hello, Princess! Uh, uh, hello. Oh. Princess? <sighs> I wanted to be famous like you, but it's really hard. Oh, fame is for fish. Statues are nice, but they take a lot of dusting. But adventures! Now that's the thing! <laughs> yes. The princess had some adventures today. Ooh. She came up with a world first. I did. You invented the world's first pizza flavored bird table. Huh? Wow. Oh. The only bird catches the pizza. <laughs> and you may not have discovered a sea monster, but you found my long lost boot. Oh, oh very cool. And you found the world's funniest potato. It reminds me of someone. Why? You're famous already! I am, aren't I? Come on, everyone. Time for the ceremony. Gardner, if you please. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey? <laughs> but what about your statue? Uh, tell them to hold their hedgehogs. Back in a jiffy. Oh. I love the way they've done that rouging. Come on, hurry oh, up! Lovely. Can't wait! Ooh. Hurry up, hurry up! Where's Great Uncle Walter? He said he'd be back in a jiffy. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, Great Uncle Walter will be here in one jiffy. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> oh, here he comes! What's that? <laughs> <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to celebrate Great Uncle Walter, famous discoverer, inventor, and bird watcher. <laughs> and don't forget Everest. Oh, yes, yes. I think they get the idea. Ah! Mm. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, it's wonderful. A few words? Oh, 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 oh yes, yes. Um, 
You should never wear trousers on a Thursday. Thank you. Uh, but we're also here to celebrate a famous inventor of pizza bird tables. Hey? Finder of boots and discoverer of special spuds. Uh -huh. Ladies and gentlemen, our own princess! Uh, me? Come on! <laughs> Pull the rope, princess. Oh, oh it's the princess! <laughs> You're famous. Oh, you really are famous now, Princess. <laughs> Thank you. Now we're both famous. <laughs> it's a potato that just looks like me. I am famous. It's a princess potato. <laughs> <laughs> Camping is so outside -y. It's really fun. <laughs> Never get me in that tent. Never. Uh. Oh, peachy. I don't even have my hair curlers. It's full of bugs, I'll bet. Never fear. I'll clear the tent of bugs, my sweet maid. Right. Spider! General. Now look what you've done. Oh, that's oh, tawny! Looks like a night under the stars. <laughs> a disaster! Don't argue. Even when you have to, you don't want to go camping. I thought it would be fun camping with my friends. But Nessie did rip my tent. We need to mend it then. What with, sweetheart? Desmond, this is not the time or the place. I know. Desmond! Good idea, Desmond. <laughs> oh, clever girl. Maybe I can sweep the spiders out of the tent. Maybe I can sleep in it. Maybe we could make the campfire together. OK, but not with my Nessie. Shall I help you get the eggs this time? They're teamwork, huh? <laughs> you distract them, and I'll grab the eggs. Hmm? <laughs> we love camping, camping all together. Underneath the sky, all kinds of weather. We haven't got the ice, but we've got a temperature. Well, dear? Not bad. Mm. <sighs> right. Let's get in that castle. <laughs> Let's have a look at the catch. Morning, Dad! Uh, how, how did you get in? Through the back door, of course. Of course. Just don't tell the others, eh? Everyone, the castle is now open. Boiler! I want a bath. With, with bubbles. Oh, 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 nice. Oh, what a mess. I don't of... think we were the only ones having fun last oh. night. Pause. Pause. <laughs> Shall we give great Uncle Walter his key now? <laughs> Good idea, Poppet. Where is he? Hello! Hello! Is it morning yet? <laughs> Look at all those stars. You must be in space now. Yes. Is it very exciting? Yes. More exciting than the castle? Yes. So how long are you thinking of staying? Not. Because the castle is much more exciting. It's got tiddlywinks and worm houses and musical statues <laughs> and giant muffins. But what about the aliens? I haven't even seen a little one. Oh dear. Space isn't exciting without everybody else. 
So what are you going to do? I'm going home. Sweetheart? Hello. Welcome home, Poppet. Did you have a good trip? No. I missed all the exciting things here. But what about space and the aliens, sweetheart? Wasn't very exciting without all you. And I didn't even see an alien. Oh, oh. poor little sausage. Are you asleep, princess? Nearly. Could you come here a minute, princess? Eh? In here, princess. Mm hmm? <gasps> ah! <laughs> it's like a spaceship! Ready <gasps> to go to space, princess? Yes, please. Then fasten your seatbelts, spacemen! <gasps> and space birds! Three, two, <laughs> one, and lift off! <laughs> <laughs> We're nearly <getting> there! <gasps> Welcome to space. Wow! Look at the stars. He's love magic. Oh, look out for Auntie Space <laughs> Alien. <laughs> I'm an alien. Gobbly, 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 gobbly. <laughs> I'm an alien. Gobbly, gobbly. This gobbly. is the best space trip ever because everyone's here. And I didn't even have to leave home. Where are all the children of Stardust, Princess? A shooting star. Hmm. Got any macaroons? Come on, Princess, it's your turn now. <sighs> oh, uh, uh, <coughs> Good luck, Princess. It's a bit too dark to skit. What? Not a cloud for me. It's such lovely weather today. Oh. Um, my feet are very hot. What if they melt the ice? Ice? Very deep. No problem. I might give the fish headaches. No fish. They're on their holidays. Oh. Here, here I go, then. Steady, princess. That's got to hurt. <laughs> Stand away! I was stuck! Watch the bank, princess! <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was shocking. Oh, very funny. All hands on deck. She's rubbish. That's not a twist. <laughs> you can't even go straight. Allow me. Rubber legs. <laughs> Charming. Oh. Princess. I'm not very good at skating. Oh, dear. I didn't want to be the only one who couldn't do it. I can't really do a big twist. <laughs> I made it up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Never mind, Princess. <laughs> you were better than me on my first time. I was really rubbish. You may not be the best skater, but you're definitely the funniest. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, 
That's it, Princess. Come join us. Oh, wait for me! Oh, oh, See? Stopping's easy. <laughs> there you are, Princess. What are you up to? I was going to play a really funny joke on Alge, but I can't find my water balloon anywhere. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Ooh, no, it's not. <laughs> I've thought of an even better joke. What are you going to do? <laughs> You'll see. Mm. This custard is a fantastic for my truffle. Now for the cherries. Huh? <laughs> what? My custard is vamoused! <laughs> Ooh, algae's blue wellies. <laughs> Piggly, <wiggly. laughs> Alge! Let's put our wellies on and go outside. Why? Because I've got a really funny joke to show you. Oh, okay. But I've already got my wellies on. Uh-oh. <laughs> Strange pace for a can of custard. Ah! Prime Minister, H how could you? Uh, but I... Playing jokes at your age. You should know better. And you, the Prime Minister. <laughs> but I, I... No buts. I've caught you red-handed. No, I've caught you custard-handed. Oh, no. <laughs> it wasn't Prime Minister. Eh? It was me. <laughs> What? Princess? It was a funny joke. <laughs> I've got just the job for you, Princess. But, uh... <laughs> so what's a man supposed to do with a pan of custard? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Great joke, Princess. <sighs> there you are, Princess. How did the funniest joke ever go? Mm. Oh, never mind. Perhaps you're trying a bit too hard. Hello, Princess. Do you want to play some more jokes? I don't like jokes. They're not funny. Oh! I've been looking for that. Good dog! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Give it to me, Scruff. <laughs> 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 ah! No! <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> wow! <laughs> that was the best joke ever! <laughs> Good at jokes. <laughs> Princess, <sighs> lunch time. Oh, goody. Oh, mm. look at that. Yum, yummer. I'm starving. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you are, sweetheart. I haven't seen you all morning. That's because I've been in a special hide and seek place that nobody knows about. Except me. Sounds fun, Puppet. Oh, can we all come and see it? Mm. Where is it, Princess? Oh, it's a secret. Oh. oh. 75, 21, 63. <laughs> Come in! <laughs> <Really on> the... <laughs> I 
could stay in here for ages and nobody would ever find me. Oh! Oh, hello, Poppy. Uh, Just uh, looking for uh, my croaky uh, set. But this is my secret room. Oh, is it Poppy? Yes. Nobody knows about it except me. Afraid I know about it. <laughs> and so does your mum. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Hello, Princess. I won't tell either. <gasps> Three people know all about my secret hide and seek room. Quick, <gasps> hide in here. Oh, hello, Princess. But. <laughs> I thought you would like your afternoon snack in here, Princess. Uh, uh, but. Voila! Yummy, yummy, yummy. Found you all! What? Everybody knows about my hide and seek room. <laughs> <laughs> Even Horace! Sorry, Princess. <laughs> we never thought you'd want to hide in this old room. <laughs> it's, it's far too dusty and uncomfy. And it's full of junk. Well, well, octopus cobwebs. Well, perhaps we'd better leave you alone in your secret room. Mm. Uh, um... Come along, everyone. <sighs> oh, wait! Oh. My secret room isn't very secret anymore. Yes. And now I'm going to be rubbish at hide-and-seek again. Uh... But... <gasps> I've got an idea. Oh, oh I say. What is it? I need a little help first. Oh. What did she say? Where would you like this, Princess? Um, <laughs> well... Oh, a spider. Oh. Hello, spider. <laughs> Ew, charming. We'll soon have it all sorted, Princess. Everything shipshape and comfy. Hmm. Look at that, marvelous! Come and see my Ooh. secret oh. hide and seek room, everyone. Hey, <laughs> I can't wait to try the cake. Ooh, uh, is that cake? <laughs> Lovely poppet. So cozy. Yes. It's like a proper little den, and surprisingly clean. Mm. Now it's a perfect playroom. And I can share it with all my friends. Here, 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 here. It's the best unsecret secret room ever. Horace! Horace! Everybody's welcome. Come in and play. Yippee, <laughs> my <laughs> Uh-huh. And hold on to your feet! It's time for Clap Trap! Oh! Ah! Yo, hey, Queenie, all the crew, that trap's a name, I'm telling you! Clap Trap! Clap Trap! When my wings begin to flap, everybody do the Clap Trap! Clap Trap! Clap Trap! Clap Trap! Clap Trap! Clap Trap! And now, our final effort from Princess. I'm a little princess. This is my song. Oh. Ribbit. Oh. I'm a little princess. This is my... Ribbit. Oh. This is my... This is... I can't remember the word. Ribbit. Oh dear. Oh! So, how did that go? Everything went wrong and I forgot the words. Oh dear. So, I guess Claptrap will win again. As usual. Great Uncle Walter will be happy. I suppose Claptrap is his best friend and his song was really good. I'm sure yours was good too. How did it go? Like this. I'm a little princess. This is my song. I've never made one up before, so it isn't very long. In fact, it's almost over now. Not much more to go. I'm running out of things to sing. I hope you like the show. I'm a little princess. La, 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 la. La 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 la. Tip top.
top. Cheers oh, along. Yay. Yay. That was wonderful, sweetheart. Now come back inside. It's time to vote for the best song. Am I still in the contest? Of course you are, Poppet. <laughs> time to choose your favourite song. I vote for Clap Trap. I would like to vote for... Uh... Wow. I object. He can't vote for himself, can he? He can if he likes. Then I shall vote for myself, too. There you go. Well, Prince. Me, too. Sweet. Claptrap, you haven't voted yet. Ah, Claptrap. Uh. Oh, it's a draw between the princess and the parrot. But I haven't had a go yet. Vote for yourself, princess, huh? Then you have won. I vote for. Go on, princess. Oh. Oh. I. Oh. I vote for. Claptrap! Ah! <laughs> He's done it again! He's the oh. creme de la top banana! Claptrap! <laughs> oh. That's very nice of you, Princess. My song was really good, but Claptrap's was even better. See? <laughs> That's a true sport. And now, Claptrap, let's boogie! When my wings begin to flap, everybody do a Claptrap rap. Claptrap, 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 Claptrap! No dinner yet, puss. No. Excuse me. Oh, more washing. Oh, washing, washing, washing. Hello. Have you come to help? Maid is too upset to work. Puss hasn't eaten. No one has eaten, Poppet. Mmm. I know. Chef, can I use some tin foil? Ah, ah, ah. Do not use all my foil, huh? <laughs> I need it for my roast beef, huh? I'm making a tiara. Oh, I see. Well, in that case, you must use as much as you want. I made this for you. Well, aren't you the sweetest thing? That is the most lovely present anyone has ever given me. You are too kind. <laughs> Try it on. Whoopa. Mirror? Ooh. Well, I look quite a picture, though I say so myself. Oh, dear. <gasps> oh. oh, dear. Oh, that's oh, dear. too bad. Well, never mind. It's the thought that counts. Oh, do come to the dance. You look lovely just as you are. Oh, Aww. what a lovely thing to say. I couldn't think of it. You go without me. My tiara. Oh. oh, well, back to the laundry. Oh. It was worth a try. No. <laughs> Oh, didn't she like your tiara? It broke. Oh, dear. I've spoiled things and I can't make it better. I wish I'd told her. You could tell her now. She won't like me anymore. Is that what you're frightened of? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no more laundry, please. <gasps> Scruff, no! No more dirty washing! Naughty dog! Hey? What's this? <gasps> Scruff! Good dog! Come here! Oh, you, you, you! <laughs> Princess, look at you! I've got it! I've got I've got the tiara! Ah! Really? It's all my fault. Scruff found it, but it was lost, and it was so shiny and sparkly, and I tried to put it back, but Scruff wouldn't let me, and then it bounced off Admiral's head, and now it's all spoilt. What did she say? Something about Admiral having it on his head. I took it, and I didn't give it back, and I'm very, very sorry. Well, well, you are brave to tell me. Am I? And I'm very glad you gave it back. All it needs is a good wash, be good as new. Look at your dress, though, as if I didn't have enough to do. 
what you were waiting for. It's supper time. What a pig. You're looking very lovely. Wow. Oh, doesn't she look lovely? See? Good as new. It looks lovely and sparkly. You can borrow it any time. Just don't forget to ask. Oh. Ready, maid? The door, Prime Minister? Allow me. Here we go. Isn't this exciting? <laughs> don't ah, lose your tiara. Take this, maid, to the ball. Hold on to your tiaras. Ah. Have fun. Bye. Enjoy the ball. Bye. Cheerio. Cheerio. <gasps> Pause. <laughs> what are you like? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <clears throat> um... Have you seen the princess? Oh. Nice moves, General. Hmm. Hello, Poppet. Time for your dance class. Uh, soon. Your mum and I love to dance, don't we, dear? Hmm. <laughs> Do ya? Why don't we show her? Maybe later. Oh, come on. We've already got the music. <sighs> Just try to be careful. Careful of what? And one, two, three. One, two, three. Ow! Oh, sorry. <laughs> and step two, three. Step two, three. Oh, sorry. This dance looks too painful. You're so clumsy. Well, you go a bit too fast. I do not go too fast. You keep stepping I'll on my foot. I'll be off then. Bye. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ow. Your Majesties, have you seen the princess? She went that way. Right you are. Can I hide in here? Oh, no, I suppose so. What are you hiding from? Dancing. Oh, but dancing's lovely. Oh, that sounds nice, Prime Minister. Oh, no, it doesn't. Now, ah, wait till you see it. Oh, oh it, it is quite nice, isn't it? Marvelous. Hey! You haven't seen the princess. Oh. Um, we were just, uh, you know, um. Uh... My turn. Fun, isn't it? No, it's really hard. Stop! What? Oh. Don't you like it? No, it's too hard. And it's all backwards. Princess! <gasps> no! Where are you? Oh. <laughs> Do you still not want to dance, Princess? No. And it's nearly time to go. Perhaps you'll have to. But they'll make me be a butterfly again. <laughs> go away, butterfly. Princess! Ooh. Oh, Princess, where are you? Give it just one more try. Hmm. Princess? She's not here. Then a talking bush is wearing her tutu. <sighs> That's silly. Not as silly as missing a dance class. You look so pretty. Pretty? Oh, well, maybe not pretty. I just meant dancing so much fun. <laughs> la, 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 da, da. It's not fun, and I don't want to do it. She's a little princess. <laughs> oh. Superheroes get scared too, you know, princess. They're scared of all sorts of things. Mice, 
spiders, earwigs. I bet none of them would be too scared to rescue Scruff. Oh, I don't know. It's no good. I'll never be a proper superhero. I'm just a great big scaredy cat. <laughs> Open this door at once, Admiral. Huh? There are desperate people out here. Not until all the crocodiles have gone. Oh. Crocodiles? So that's what he's scared of. Admiral, the crocodiles don't exist. Oh, don't they? I wouldn't be so sure about that. What? <laughs> I've got one. Look, it's Whopper. Well done, General. That's the last of them, Princess. They're all gone now. You can come out now, Admiral. We've made all those naughty crocodiles go away. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Look, no crocodiles. Goodness, they've gone. Every last one of them. Oh, it's a brave man who can take on a fleet of crocodiles and win. You're a hero, Poppet. A superhero. <gasps> what is he, sweetheart? Scruff. Come on, Admiral. Let's go and be superheroes. Hi, Captain. Whoa! Oh, oh, Queen's first. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> Ah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Marvelous. Oh, bother. Oh. Come on, Super Admiral. Hello, Princess. What are you up? Sorry, Prime Minister. We've got Scruff to rescue. <laughs> You got home all by yourself. You're a superhero too. How are you feeling, Princess? Bad. I wanted to stop the maid and general arguing, but I made it worse. Now they're not speaking to each other. That does sound silly. They might not speak to each other ever again. Perhaps you could talk to them. I tried. They won't listen to me. But they might listen to everybody. Well, they've just captured the light of my eyes. <laughs> I'm having a meeting. Uh, splendid idea, Princess. <clears throat> what for? Everybody's invited except for Maid and General. I see. Uh, I think. <laughs> Can you tell everybody? Uh, right over. Hello, General. Hello, Princess. What are you doing? Nothing. Let's go to the tree house. What for? Because uh, it might rain. Oh. Come on. <sighs> Wait there, General. Uh, where are you going? To get. Uh, Something. Bye. Hey. I told you, Princess. I'm far too busy to play in the tree has. <gasps> you? You? Princess. Princess! Got to go now. Bye. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Hooray! 
Ned and General are having an argument. Oh, oh c'est terrible! Hurrah! <laughs> and they're not friends anymore. Would you believe it? Hurrah! <laughs> what are we going to do about it? I cannot cook in this atmosphere. My cakes won't rise, huh? And my chickens have stopped laying eggs. Ban them from the castle, I say. Oh, I don't well, know. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> That's a bit harsh. Give them a good talking to. Tell them not to be so silly. All those in favor of giving them a good talking to say, Wee oui, wee. Oui. That's a bit much. Uh, that won't help my chicken. <laughs> what about Calm my down, no, everyone. Where are you going, princess? To get Maid and General. We're going to tell them to stop arguing and... I was so oh. silly. All that fuss about some washing. I was more silly. Oh, no, I was. I was. No, oh, we were both <laughs> silly. Excuse me. Oh, hello, Princess. I thought you'd never be friends again. Well, we've made up now, haven't we, General? I'll say. Good. I don't like arguments. Everyone has arguments sometimes, Princess. It doesn't mean they won't be friends again. Good. Let's go and tell the others. Don't, don't tell me to calm down. <laughs> I am calm! Hello. Calm down. <laughs> really? Stuff and nonsense. What a racket. Some people are so silly. Why can't they be friends like us, eh, General? <laughs> Come on, puss. Let's find somewhere nice and quiet to finish your picture. How are you getting on, Princess? Shh! Is that General's bear skin? Princess? Princess? Oh well, I'll leave her to it. I am not telling you. I'm right because I'm evil. What is it? What is it? Ah, oh, my souffle! Huh? It is a triumph! Oh! And? It usually goes poop! Oh, thanks anyway. <laughs> oh, oh! The Admiral! <laughs> oh, no! It's gone poop! What is it? What did you see? Ah, oh, sorry. Gave the horn to the Prime Minister. Said it would look good on his tricycle. Princess! Oh. <laughs> what do you think, eh? <laughs> it's great. Daddy bye. Oh, that sounds like the General's whistle. Aren't you going to see what's going on, Princess? No point. Nothing exciting or fun is happening. It's always normal stuff. Oh, there you are, Princess. You saw me sneeze. Hurrah! See what I mean? I want to see something that's too good to miss. Oh, that's Dad. Maybe he's seen something. Ah, pop it. Are you ready to see something fun and exciting? Yes. I've been trying to tell you all day. Bertie's Comet is coming tonight. Ah! What's Bertie's Comet? It's like a big, round uh, firework that, that, that rockets through space. Woo! <laughs> it's very special. So it doesn't happen much? Once in a lifetime. <gasps> then I'm not going to miss it. <laughs> can you see it yet? I can see the plow. Is that it? No, Admiral, that's a bat. Oh, I can't see anything. It's got to find us first. Hasn't it, Dad? Hmm? Oh, yes. I think. My kitchen. Are you up there, Bertie? I hope I haven't missed you, too. <laughs> Come 
Mum, Bertie. Please. I can't believe I slept through that. Back to Portland. Bertie, Bertie, Bertie. I saw Bertie. Oh, Bertie. look at that. Oh. Oh. A fantastic meeting shower. Bertie, Bertie, Bertie. Bertie. <laughs> what? What? Princess, what are you doing? I think I'll do some piano practice. Aren't you too busy for piano practice? I'm too busy a lot of the time, but not just now. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> not right. Oh, not right again. Oh. Oh. Princess? Oh. I'm no good at piano. Oh, no, no. My fingers keep hitting the wrong notes. Uh, <laughs> Princess, everyone hits wrong notes to start with. You can't learn without making mistakes. Can't you? Yeah. When you started to walk, you kept falling over. <laughs> but you carried on practicing. And now, you can even climb trees. I carried on practicing. Ah, that's right. I just kept doing it over and over and over. Yes. Um, would Princess like to stop for tea? Sorry, I can't stop now. I'm practicing. Yeah, so you are. Very good. Yeah, carry on. <laughs> Hello, Princess. Is that fun? Yes. I'm wiggling my fingers. So you are. They are going to play for Auntie today. Play the scales? Not scales. A tune. Prime Minister taught me. Thank you. Delightful. Who's next? A la 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 la. Ta da! Mm. Pop it! <laughs> ah. Oh! <clears throat> ah. Oh, oh, oh. I say, marvellous! Look at the little like fellow. A Becoming a frog. <laughs> Whoops! <gasps> oh no. dear. Clever baby. Keep practicing over and over, and soon you'll be climbing trees with me. Yeah, yeah. Breathe again, princess. <laughs> <clears throat> Little Princess, I Don't Want to Go to Bed Written by Cass Willing, read by Colin McFarlane The sun was just beginning to set after another lovely day at the castle. It was nearly bedtime, but Little Princess was still very busy. I'm being a bat! Flap, 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 flap! She squawked with delight. Time for bed, Princess, said the maid, lifting her down from the tree. But bats don't go to bed, said Little Princess. They fly around all night. The maid was very strict about bedtime. But I don't want to go to bed, said Little Princess stubbornly. I'm not tired. Maid helped Little Princess 
to put on her nighty, ready for bed. Then little princess brushed her teeth until they were sparkly and clean. Why do I have to go to bed when I'm not even tired? She thought to herself crossly before heading back into her bedroom. Nighty nighty, sleep tighty, said the queen as she tucked little princess into bed. I can't sleep because my eyes are open, moaned little princess. Well, this will help you sleep, Poppet, said the queen cheerfully, and switched the light off. The queen left little princess's bedroom and pulled the door behind her. The king and queen were in the hallway playing with their building blocks, when suddenly, little princess came stomping down the stairs. I want a glass of water! she announced. The king and queen fetched a glass of water. She made sure that she slurped every last drop. <clears throat> the king took the empty glass and wished her good night again. King and Queen happily returned to their game. Suddenly, they heard Little Princess calling, Mummy! Daddy! She was so loud that it sent their building blocks tumbling to the floor. The King opened the door and peered in at Little Princess. You can't possibly want another glass of water. He asked with surprise. Little Princess shook her head. I want the toilet, she said. Oh, are you finished yet? said the King impatiently. It was starting to get very late. Almost, said Little Princess, pleased as punch that she'd found something else to do other than go to sleep. <laughs> Little Princess was quickly put back to bed. Soon, she heard the rest of the household saying good night and heading to their bedrooms. Once the castle was still, all that could be heard was the sound of the owls hooting in the trees outside. As the moon rose in the sky, Little Princess's bedroom was suddenly filled with shadows of all different shapes and sizes. The shadows seemed to be alive. Little Princess shrieked for her parents as loudly as she could. Ah! What is it now, Puppet? asked the King worriedly poking his head round the door. There's a, a, a monster in my room, said Little Princess matter-of-factly. No monsters in here, said the Queen. Nothing under here, said the King. Nothing out there, said the Queen, as she shut the curtains. It's just the tree casting shadows. The Queen tucked Little Princess back into bed and gave her a kiss good night. Nighty nighty, sleep tighty, she said, and switched the light off once again. The King and Queen were exhausted by the time they finally got to bed. But just then, the Little Princess walked in, dragging Teddy Gilbert behind her. She still couldn't get to sleep. I don't like it by myself, cried Little Princess, pointing accusingly at her mummy and daddy. How come you're big and you get to share, and I'm little and I have to sleep by myself? You have Gilbert and Puss, said the king. 
you have mummy, said little princess. The king and queen looked at each other with a sigh. Ah! Oh. The queen went to wake the maid, while the king knocked on the general's door. We need a little bit of help carrying a bed, said the king, to the very sleepy general. Desperate for their little princess to go to sleep, the king and queen had asked the maid to share her room for the night. The general and the king brought the spare bed into little princess's room. Oh, it was very heavy. Soon, the maid was in the land of Nod. But still, little princess could not get to sleep. This time, it was because of the dreadful racket that the maid was making. <coughs> little princess tried shaking the maid to stop her snoring. <coughs> little princess tried turning on the light. Little princess tried opening the curtains, but nothing seemed to wake her up. I wish I had my room back, thought little princess despairingly, and I don't ever want to play my back game again. Being awake all night is too tiring. The next morning, the maid woke up bright and early with a great big stretch. <sighs> Good morning, she said to little princess, but there was no reply. Princess, said the maid, and gently lifted back the covers to wake her up. <gasps> Help, cried the maid, little princess has gone. The king and queen came dashing into little princess's bedroom. Oh, the monster has taken her, said the maid shakily. There's no such thing, the king said firmly, and together they all began to hunt for the missing little princess. The maid looked under the bed. <gasps> the king looked under the table. Never mind. The queen looked in the bath. Oh dear. The general checked in the cupboards. The chef even checked the bins. <gasps> Aha! Here she is, announced the Queen finally. Little Princess and Gilbert were in Scruff's basket, and all of them were fast asleep. <coughs> Princess! said the queen as the household looked down at the little sleeping beauty. Little princess woke with a start. <gasps> oh, uh, why do you put me to bed when I'm not tired and wake me up when I am? demanded little princess sleepily. And with that, little princess climbed the stairs to her bedroom. I want to go to bed, she announced to the royal household, and I'm not sharing. 